I'm Rachel Andrew, I work for Google Chrome, and I'm also a member of the CSS Working Group. In this video, I'm going to show you a new CSS property that has an experimental implementation in Chrome, Reading Flow. The property is best introduced with a short demo of the problem that it's trying to solve. Imagine that you're creating a layout with CSS Grid using auto-placed items. By default, this will display the items in the order they are in the source and leave gaps when an item needs to move to the next row to fit. You can see this as I tab around the layout. We're logically following the source. To get rid of the gaps, you can use the dense packing mode, grid auto flow dense. This gives me the look that I want. However, what the dense packing mode does is it takes the items out of the source order in order to put small items into gaps left by the placement of larger ones. Now you can see if I tab around the layout, how the navigation order jumps about. This is because the tab order and the order used by technology such as screen readers follows the order of items in the DOM, not the visual order. The same problem can be caused by flex layouts using the order property or row and column reverse and grid layouts where items are positioned by line or grid template areas away from their order in the DOM. The reading flow property aims to solve this problem. In the dense packing example, it's likely that the natural order to read the items is by row. So here you'd use reading flow, grid rows. The tab order now follows the rows as created by layout. You could follow columns with reading flow, grid, columns. And in this case, the tab order would follow the columns as created by the layout. You can try this out yourself. At the time of recording this video, you'll need to start Chrome with a runtime flag of CSS reading flow at the command line. I've created a set of examples at chrome.dev reading flow examples. Take a look at these examples with Chrome using the feature flag and compare them to how they work without reading flow. If you have use cases yourself where this reordering is a problem, try using reading flow and test them with the flag. Also check out the draft spec that's part of CSS Display 4. If you have any feedback, you can raise it as an issue on the CSS Working Group GitHub repo or drop me a line. I'm Rachel Andrew at google.com and I'd really like to hear any feedback that you have on this proposal. This is a key moment where your feedback can really help us shape this. Thank you.